Blue Jam said we're going down. Let's take some kids with us on our way out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have episodes 502 and 503 of our One Piece reaction series today. And the gray terminal is in chaos. It is completely on fire at the command of the king. Just to kind of wipe the place clean before the celestial dragon is supposed to arrive. But in doing so is killing many, 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 many innocent people. The big shock last episode was dragon, of course, showing up and kind of like, I guess, calming Sabo down, which I don't know if this man dragon could just enter like Minecraft creative mode or what, but this man seems to to be everywhere every time he needs to be logue town included we're gonna hop right in maybe get some answers if you're new to the channel drop a sub and let's get started <laughs> oh oh mama's here baby oh shoot damn bro the dawn versus blue jam holy chica chad Oh, they all came for them. This is so sweet. They're just one big family. Sabo did not go home. He was taken. Bro, I want to see Dadan obliterate this man. I don't know why. Dude, her axe is sick, too. Aww. Why does she care about them so much? Oh, she's trying to give him a way out. I swear the beats around her neck. That had to have inspired what Ace wore. War. Dude, there's no way he actually wants to fight his way out. This is... Thank you. Okay. Blue Jam is such a weird dude, man. Like, you're dying. You're like, oh, yeah, I'll go out fighting you random bandits and children. Wait, Ace, no, stop. I mean, we know he can't die here. He dies elsewhere. He didn't learn to run away. Luffy wants a piece of him, too. I think Dadon is realizing she's going to have to fight right alongside Ace. She can't tell him to stand down. Oh, man. I hope something doesn't happen to the Dawn here, though. And that's why she's just never been mentioned or anything. I have a bad feeling, though. And maybe Ace held that on his shoulders because he stayed behind. Something might have happened to her. Only the strong and the cowardly. Mm. She spit on her hand. Oh, this is a sick duo, though. Tell me they just obliterate him. This is so sad. The guy's holding his doll. Those unfortunate were just left to just burn alive. Just wiped away like they never even existed. Oh. The wind. What the hell? A path has been cleared. How? No, that was not just the explosion. Dude, did Dragon do that? What is Dragon capable of? And why does his scarf look like a devil fruit? Dude, I feel like that was Dragon. That was a very convenient explosion that led right to a ship. <gasps> Ivan! Oh, shoot, he's here with Dragon. Oh. Oh my god, Kuma! Oh my god! Kuma was. Oh, dude. Dude. Wow. Mm. I really didn't know if I could trust Dragon or not, just because he is a little mysterious. But yeah, man, he really is about just freeing the world. Man, Kuma really was a part of that group. Holy. This OST is so good. And they became a part of the revolutionary army. Whose ship is that? Is that Dragon's ship? Damn. That's crazy. Easy, man. Meanwhile, the king sleeps while people burn. Well, people aren't burning. They're gonna just assume they did, though. Yeah, I wonder if it's y'all's fault, like, in terms of parenting. Nah, surely not. Oh, did they make too big of an, a, a fire that it'll actually encroach on the kingdom? Or is this still just like... Oh, no, this is still Outer Grey Terminal. Oh, yeah, there's no way it reaches the, the High Palace. Locked in battle. Oh, what? They both didn't return. Well, of, of course, we know Ace made it out, so I'm assuming to dodge is with him wherever they went. Oh my god, that's it! The next day! They're back home. That cleared up very fast. Aw, he picks them up like a little baby. Oh, the, the celestial dragon will be here soon. 
Yeah. I wonder if Dragon told Sabo anything to reassure him, though. It's just, just dust. Holy. Well, they're just like compacting everything. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if they're like, huh, there's no. Yeah, there's not really many bodies. Mm, surely. Yeah, they'll never know that so many escaped. <gasps> there's Sabo. Oh, maybe he just passed out after. Oh, yeah, he did pass out as Dragon was talking to him. I think he just bandaged him and left. <laughs> the dog with a hat, bro. Every single person in this town just make me sick to my stomach, just their existence. <laughs> I know it's a long form of indoctrination, but still, they're just all gross. <laughs> my god! That dude is huge. <laughs> yeah, just about what I expected. Yeah, oh, he'll find a way. He doesn't look as intimidating as the stature uh, suggests. Barricade. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. Yeah, he'll listen to you. A real role model. Yeah, you feel good about that? Ooh, wow. He's leveraging it. And Sabo's gonna be like, I have to do this for their for their good. Ew, don't even talk about Steli. God damn. Don't even bring up that creature's name. Ugh. I still don't think he will. Maybe he'll pretend to, but for the sake of, of Luffy and Ace. Ew! Yeah, that might be a big event here that might turn the tides of the Celestial Dragon visiting because it teased it so long ago. I mean, I know it led to the fire in the Great Terminal, but still. Boy, well, yeah, he is just guarded 24-7 now. Poor Sabo. He just want to live the life of a pirate, man. He knows they didn't. All their adventures. It's been a, a decent number of episodes, but it feels like it's gone by in a flash. I could watch a hundred more of that trio, man. Just misadventures. Brother! He's gotta slowly find a way out. He's straight up a prisoner. The three birds flying away together. Kind of sounded like, sound like Aaron Yeager. You, Sabo. Pause. Wait, so they sit in the room with him? Oh, that's so weird, man. Oh, he's gonna fall asleep on the job tomorrow for sure. Oh, no. I think Sabo's gonna... Oh, I think Sabo's gonna do something, man. I don't know. That would be a big deal, though, if he messed with a celestial dragon. It might collapse his father's entire, like, reputation, too, if they find out that it's his son that did anything. Oh, man. This make me nervous. And like I said, they pointed out him falling asleep on the job for a reason. Yep. Ideal right, Smeal. I am scared. He's writing it. Oh, is he writing a letter? So like his dad, he, he's going to try and make this like his final escape. He, he knows if they catch him again after going out, he will literally be like put in a cage, basically, as if he hasn't already. Oh, no. And the world building has already set up for us how big of a deal a Celestial Dragon is. So we still don't even know like the outcome of Ace and Dadan. Oh, shoot. Wait, that wasn't what Sabo just hopped on. No shot! Oh my god, Sabo! Oh my god! He yoinked the ship and is leaving! Oh my god, that guard is so dead. He is so dead. We knocked him out! Oh my god! No way! He has an ass flag! Wait, so did he write a note to his dad? <laughs> Preposterous! Wait, what if he like runs into the ship, bro? Look at his face! He don't give a damn about your orders. Is he gonna go try to find Luffy and Ace? It seems like he's just like straight up leaving, leaving. Oh, they're all here. Like in town. I guess the entire island would be present. Sabo, no, man. Don't do anything. Don't. It's such a glorious ship, though. I'll die if I crash into it. 
Is he gonna make it? It doesn't seem like... Oh, no, he did. Okay, sick. Oh, okay, I think we're chilling. Ugh, celestial dragon. Oh, he sees the ship. Is he gonna be pissed that one tiny ship is leaving while he's coming in? Oh, no. Oh, no. And Sabo's causing no problems at all, too. Shimojiming. <gasps> No, Zoo, not like this. No. Right after Sabo's just like, man, it'd be cool to have a ship like that someday. The, the captain one like that. Oh, my heart, man. Is this, does he actually die here? And that's why we've never like really even remotely heard of him. Aside from, like I said, that one point after the entire war. My goodness. But I feel like if Sabo does die in this backstory, it wouldn't be appropriate if Luffy and Ace weren't to know what happened to him. And they weren't to witness what happened. Because my perspective is that he may have just like, they may have been like building blocks for them and it was just a point of development that they had to get past 503 let's go okay so they stayed back at the lodge that makes sense i would have hoped so we know ace is alive and i'm assuming that the don didn't die in all of that solely because we know ace makes it out yeah we're all holding themselves back for going to look for her and him he made the celestial dragon mad just by existing too close to him. Oh, he's trying to put the fire out! Saint Jalmac. Uh, solely because he. Well, it's because he's a pirate and a commoner. More importantly, he's a child. Uh, dude, I knew that that would piss him off. Oh, dude. Oh my god, there's no way Sabo actually dies and Luffy and Ace aren't even there. Oh, he knows exactly who's on that ship. He can tell everybody else. Dog! Just like that! No shot, buddy, after all of this. Oh my god, he's gonna tell them. Oh no. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, they are both okay. But Sabo is not. Damn! Oh my god! Dude, what happened then? Did they kill Blue Jam? Surely we find out. Luffy's face! It makes the present time hurt so much more. Oh my god. We barely even got any time with the bastard, and now they're giving us this! Monsters! I'm guessing Blue Jam did not make it out alive. There's no way. Oh my god, they actually broke it immediately! Look at the tag team, hell yeah! Yeah, they just beat him down! Dang, dude. Rip Bozo, smoke it on that blue jam pack! So how did they get out? Run through? Oh my god! Brother, what do you mean? Follow my lead! Oh my god! The Dawn is the Chad! Holy, no wonder he carried her on his back. She made her way through. We know she didn't die now. Thank goodness. So that's why they've been gone so long. He's just been treating her. It wasn't like a short walk back. The way they've been portraying it, it seems like it's like a couple hours of a walk or run to get back. Yeah, me too. But dog, if that's the way Sabo goes, I'm actually going to be upset. It would feel like a waste. They don't even know. Oh my god, dog. I get sick to my stomach seeing these, these, these people, man. I don't think I call them people. Celestial dragons are just sickening. Dogs are good listeners. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't you turn? Mm. He wanted to make make sure Luffy got out. Roger mm. never turned and ran. 
愛する者がおるからじゃ共に逃げれば仲間たちも危険にさらすことになる目の前の敵たちが仲間を追わんように敵を逃がさぬのロジャーはまさに I would pay so much money for a prequel series about Roger's adventures in one piece Poor tempered and selfish. I even straight more like a child. Fuck, that's Luffy, man! I mean, who likes losing ones they love? You know what I mean? Like, who's who's not filled with rage in a sense that people lose people in this show in violent, horrible ways? Hmm. That's all you need. Look at that smile, man. Luffy radiates the same exact smile. <laughs> That's why I'm raising the boy. Bro, no way is he having bugs fight. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see who wins. Oh my god, he knows. Oh no. There's no way. It's too open and ended, man. I refuse to believe it. Show me the body. And they know there's just not some random civilian that's gonna sail out like that, too. Good luck, Ace. Good luck, man. No shot. Please stop him. Thank you. Damn. The dying people will forget you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. If the Don is alive in the present, I want to just see what she thinks of everything that's happened with, with Ace. Listen, man. Call me a doubter, but One Piece is kind of, um... What's the word? Uh, condition me to doubt if things aren't explicitly shown. There's no way Sabo goes out like that. And that's why we've never heard of him. Just because he had just a one-off shot death like that. I would be tragic. Almost frustrating. Mail? Oh, he sent it beforehand. That's what he was writing. It wasn't to his dad. Why would he write a letter to his dad? He didn't have. He, he, what, what, what did he have to say to him? Oh, man. Look at him. He's just dreaming of being on the sea. And he knew if he went back to them, they would be in danger. Doesn't hurt as much thinking that Sabo's dead, but the fact that we know Ace is dead. Orelotakarada is that what he said to Luffy as he was there? Is that Sabo said to take good care of you? God damn, outward Luffy or no one could ever hear him. Why would they? Then I, they can't, you can't do anything. Yeah, hello? Celestial Dragon's word is final. Bro lost two brothers now? Oh my god. Maybe the purpose of it was like him lighting the fire under Luffy and Ace. Like he was part of the ignition of them becoming the freest pirates. He doesn't want to show his face to him. So they got no treasure left either. Starting from scratch. Oh my god, this was all to show why Ace's death is even that more impactful. That he did lose his second brother. And that he wasn't strong enough to save him. Oh my. Oh my. Stop! This is so goddamn cruel! What the fuck? Damn. 
思いのままに生きよう自由にいろんなやつらを敵に回すことだジジイも敵になる Even Nagari? 出航は十七歳海賊になるんだ So went to birds Log, I'm gonna ride on the train that I hope he's alive. Solely for the fact that, yeah, Luffy has not lost a second brother if he if he isn't alive. I mean, I have to take it with a grain of salt because this was a long time ago. So the chances of him being alive are very low, seeing as we've never seen him ever. And I feel like that it's gotten to the point where like they've grown up so much that Luffy wouldn't know if he was alive at this point. But like I said, I'm starting to see the purpose of this story now. And I, I even said, like, I don't know if Sabo makes out of this alive because he's never been brought up before and that he was a big building block for luffy and ace and i'm starting to see why dude just the, it's on the nose that i will never die i promised sabo that this show just catches me out of nowhere sometimes it's just the soundtrack mixed with everything mixed with just like the themes of like how well i know luffy at this point we're 500 episodes in i've spent a decent amount of time with this guy so whenever it hurts him it, I, I feel why and i understand exactly like the thought process he he's most likely going through but god dang man it's starting to feel like a lot of this backstory is, is starting to wrap up i'm really wondering um how it's gonna leave off and i, I i'm not I'm gonna be surprised if this was the last episode of this backstory to be honest because i think it served its purpose in terms of why we were introduced to sabo in the first place but guys this has been episodes 502 and 503 of our one piece watch through do drop a sub on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace